Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this character editor where you can change the character like that and when you finished you can start the game with the created character. So let's go. So the first thing that we need is a character that we can actually edit. For this let's copy and paste our third person character and let's rename this to editor character. Open this up. And we can nearly delete everything inside here. So we didn't need anything inside the event graph. We didn't need any variables and we didn't need any camera like that. So just the basic character, nothing is encrypted and we can just place this character inside the world here. I prepared a little cylinder as a platform that the character can stand. Let's place them right in the middle and move him like that. Great. The second thing is that we need two blueprint structures. So right click blueprints structure. The first structure will be called body part. Open this up. Body part gets three variables. The first one is the name itself. The name is um, text. The second one is the mesh itself. That's a um, skeleton mesh object reference. And the third one is the static mesh. The static mesh is of course a static mesh object reference. Let's create another structure, so blueprints structure, and this will be the character underscore structure. Open this up as well. The first variable will be the head itself. The head is a skeleton mesh object reference. So let's create a few more. We need at least six like this. The second one is the chest as well as the skeleton mesh object reference. The third one are the hands. The fourth is the legs. And in my case, the last parts are the hair and the beard. In this case, in my case, it is a static mesh object reference. So let's change this up here. If yours is a skeleton mesh, of course, just choose the skeleton mesh, doesn't matter. So let's save this as well. And basically we are done here for the preparing. So basically we will use our modeler character from the last tutorial, link is in the description. So we have our instance here where just the inventory exists. So we need one more variable for this that called character. And the character gets, of course, our character structure. And when we compile and save this, you can see we have all the parts that we can set inside our instance so that we can keep it over the whole game. And we need one more function inside here as well. So add custom event and this will be the set character function. We get our player character, of course, cast to our third person character like this. And then we go from our character here, pull this out, say right click, split structure pin, and we have the body parts here. So we get the body parts as well from the character. So set skeleton mesh of the mesh itself. Put this down here like that. Be sure to uncheck reinit pose. And we can already check the head with the new mesh. And we continue. So set skeleton mesh for the chest. So I skipped the process. So basically we just set the skeleton mesh as well as the static mesh if you have one. We need this function later if we change the level and want to load our configuration. The next step is of course we need a widget. So right click use interface widget. I already prepared one. This is called editor. Let's open this up and let's take a look. So basically we have these text blocks here and the text blocks in the middle of these arrows are variables. So this is very important that we can set it later. Beside the text blocks are buttons that just have these text blocks so as an arrow. We need this to change the values, of course. Let's close this 
and we want to make the HUD visible of course. For this let's select our camera actor here and we want to show the HUD next to the character. So we go to the level blueprint, we need one more variable here, this will be left mouse button press as in boolean. Then we call our left mouse button, of course on press we want to set it to true and on release we want to set it to false. The next step is we say begin play, create widget, select our editor widget here, get the player controller, go from the return value and say set show mouse cursor and set it to true. Then we say right click, create a reference to camera actor that we selected, go from the camera and set view target with blend. And just connect it as well with the get player controller as you can see. And then we go from the return value and say add to viewport like that. We will now compile and save this and hit play. You can see there's our character, there's the HUD. The next step is we want to rotate the character with our mouse here. That's pretty easy. So let's go back to our blueprint editor here and we need an tick event. We get our boolean here, need a branch of course to ask like that. We select our editor character here inside the world, go to our level blueprint, right click, create a reference to editor character. Then we say get mouse x, say float multiplied by another float, set this to 10. Again float multiplied by another float and put this to minus 1. Then we go from the editor character and say get actor rotation, say right click split structure pin. Again from the editor character we say set actor relative rotation. From the true case of course we go here, right click split structure pin and then we just go from the draw float plus float and connect it. And this goes as well into the draw. And that's it. Compile and save this, play. And as you can see, we can rotate the character with our mouse. The next step is, of course, we want to configure our HUD here. So let's open up our HUD again. And let's go to our graph here. As you can see, we have all the buttons, all the text blocks. And as well, I add up some integers for every body part. So nothing special and these body part arrays. So as you remember, we have our body part structure, this one here, and we just select the type to array. I prepared some things here, as you can see, these are the head males, you can say, then the head female, the hair, the beard, chest, hands, and of course the legs. The first thing that we need is a new function. So let's create one that called update character. So the update character function gets every integer that we have like that. And of course, every array for the male and for the female like that. And then we say get actor from class, select our editor character. Then we go from the gender number and say switch on integer, connect it. In my case, I just have zero and one. So male and female, you can add whatever you want. And then we go from every array and say, get a copy. Say right click split structure pin. So the head mail is connected with the head number as well down here for the female like that. 
and then we continue this for everything else. So I skip the process as well. The next step is we want to set the skeleton mesh for the mesh itself. So this will be the first step. We copy and paste this down here, of course connect it. And this will be zero, this will be one. And uncheck of course the re-init pose. So the idea is zero is male, one is female. So we want to set every skeleton mesh from every body part and as well the text. So of course, when we want to set the head in this case, we will have to get the head text as well up here and want to set the text. Copy and paste this down here as well and connect the target. And then we just go from here, from the head mail, select the mesh and this will be the new mesh. Go from the name and put it into the text. As well down here, the head female, the mesh goes into the new mesh the name goes into the text. And we continue this for every body part. So I skip the process as well. As you can see, we just set every body part and every text block. Very important at the end that you set the re-init pose of the last set skeleton mesh on both sides to true. Then we just get the game instance, calls to our instance, set the character variable that we set up earlier and set it to every body part that we selected. The next step is we need two more functions here. The first one is next body part. Next body part gets two inputs, the index as an integer and the body parts, of course, as an body part structure, as an array. It gets one output. This will be the index plus. Index plus is just an integer as a single variable. Pull this out, unplug this one, copy and paste this down here. The first thing is we go from the body parts and say length. Then we say integer minus integer, leave this to one. Then we check if the index is, so integer is equal to another integer like that. We need the branch to ask. This will be the condition here. True goes up here, falls down here. We leave this index plus to zero. And the other one is just the index plus one like that. So this will switch the body part that we call. The next function is basically the same. So we just can duplicate this function called this previous body part. Of course, we can delete this part here. So just have the condition and the length. We go from the integer, check if it's equal to zero. This will be our condition. Go again from the length, want to say integer minus integer, leave this to one. This will be the index plus up here. And the second one is the index minus one. This is down here. And that's it. Compound save this. We can close the functions now and go back to our empty event graph. So we go to details here, select our gender next and gender previous on click. So the gender next and previous are the only one they are different to the other functions. So we take out the gender number, say switch on integer, connect both of these here, add up two pins. And what we do, we just switch around the number. So if it's zero, we want to go to one. And if it's one, we just go to zero. Then we just get the gender text here. Want to set the text in both cases here like that. And we just type here female and this will be male. And then we just call our update character function. 
And that's it. In the other situations, we have, of course, again to the details. Let's start up with the head on click, as well as the previous here. And this will be always the same. So we just get the head number here, as well as the head mail. We call our next body part function up here, of course, connect the head number with the index, the head mail with the body parts. Then down here, we call our previous body part function. The head number goes again to the index, the head mail goes into the body parts. And then we just want to set the head number up here to the index plus, as well down here to the index plus. And again, we just call our update character function. So we skip the process as well. So we just do this for every body part. The last thing is we select our play button on click. Then we just call the open level function, select our favorite level, go inside our favorite level here, open up the level blueprint, call the begin play event get the game instance, calls to our my instance, and then we just call the set character function. And that's it. Compile and save this. Let's go back to our character editor, hit play. Can change some things here, like that and when we hit the play button down here we can play as our custom character so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions please let me know and yeah goodbye